Will Bitcoin go up from here? Bitcoin had a rough first half of the year, but analysts still predict that it will ultimately exceed $100,000. And that is more of a question of when, not if, instead of whether it will get there. In spite of the price volatility and recent price drops, many industry experts continue to believe Bitcoin is on its way to surpassing the $100,000 threshold. However, there is a wide range of perspectives on when this milestone will be reached. A recent survey conducted by the Deutsche Bank indicated that almost one quarter of Bitcoin investors anticipate that the price of Bitcoin will be more than $110,000 during the next five years. When it comes to investing a portion of their portfolio in cryptocurrencies, experts advise rookie investors to proceed with great caution due to the market's historically high volatility. This volatility has been around for quite some time. Bitcoin's value has increased throughout the years in a manner comparable to that of every other cryptocurrency now available on the market. Bitcoin investors have every right to be interested in how high the price of the cryptocurrency can eventually go. And you have come to the right place. Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining us, we are Finance Bureau, your one-stop destination where we talk about anything related to cryptocurrency and personal finance. I hope you enjoyed my previous video and are happy to be back. In this video, we will try to answer the question that you might be dying to know the answer to. Will Bitcoin go up from here? And how will Bitcoin go up from here? So before we get into the nitty gritty of this whole fiasco, give this video a thumbs up and let's dive right in. What is Bitcoin? For starters, especially for those who don't know the technicalities of Bitcoin, according to Investopedia, Bitcoin, or abbreviated as BTC, is a digital currency first introduced in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto, the fictitious identity given to the cryptocurrency's developer or creators. A blockchain is used to record transactions. This blockchain displays each unit's transaction history and provides ownership evidence. On the other hand, Bitcoin is not issued by a central bank and is not backed by a government as regular currencies are. The purchase of Bitcoins by investors is distinct from the purchase of stocks or bonds due to the fact that Bitcoins do not represent a company. As a consequence of this, there are no business balance statements or Form 10Ks to analyze, no fund performances to contrast, and no other conventional instruments to choose an investment from. Thus, whether you are an experienced crypto investor or a newbie, researching and finding out what factors affect the price of Bitcoin is a must, so that you can make better and wiser decisions about whether or not to include it in your portfolio as an investment. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency ever developed. Its success inspired the development of an entire industry and hundreds upon thousands of other cryptocurrencies modeled after it. Bitcoin is not only the first of its kind, but it was also developed to disrupt and try to replace paper-based fiat currencies in order to become the global digital currency that is used by the overall population, regardless of the nation or region in which a person resides. Because Bitcoin is so powerful and has so much potential, Bitcoin's projected value and estimated growth could be astronomical. Speculation from crypto analysts and industry experts suggests that Bitcoin's long-term value could reach over $100,000 to as much as $1 million per BTC in the future. What influences the price of Bitcoin? So what influences Bitcoin's price? Because Bitcoin is not issued by a central bank or backed by a government, the monetary policy tools, inflation rates, and economic growth metrics that traditionally impact the value of a currency do not apply to Bitcoin. Instead, the value of Bitcoin is determined solely by supply and demand because Bitcoin functions more like a commodity and is used to hold value. The price graph of Bitcoin often resembles the uneven edge of a saw due to the significant ups and downs that it experiences. However, when the price of cryptocurrency drops without any matching increase in value, investors may start to question, when will crypto prices go back up? Predictions of prices in the short run are often inaccurate. When they are successful, it may be as much a result of luck 
as of talent. There is no assurance that the price of any coin or any other good or service will go up just because it has decreased from an all-time high. However, there are a number of causes that might trigger an increase in demand for cryptocurrencies, including the following. The supply of Bitcoin and the market's demand for it. The cost of producing a Bitcoin through the mining process. Lower interest rates. The price of riskier investments tend to rise with lower rates. Reduced threats of inflation and economic recession. Big investors getting into crypto investing, such as pension funds. Regulations governing its sale and use. For instance, federal regulations, such as allowing individual investors to buy and sell crypto through traditional brokerages they already use. The number of competing cryptocurrencies. Moreover, wider user adoption of blockchain technologies, including the centralized applications that rely on cryptocurrency. Media and news. You might be wondering now, what should an investor do? If you are certain that cryptocurrency is a smart long-term investment for you, having patience and sticking to some fundamental investing rules will help you be ready to capitalize on any future price increases. What is Bitcoin's price movement in recent years? When we talk about the evolution of Bitcoin's price and how it has changed since it was first introduced, it will undoubtedly take a considerable amount of time since this cryptocurrency was first introduced in 2009. Since that time, the price of Bitcoin, like the price of every other cryptocurrency, has seen significant price swings. Zipmex monitored the movement of Bitcoin price in 2021 so that they could determine the amount of volatility associated with Bitcoin. According to CoinMarketCap, on January 9, 2021, Bitcoin price increased by 559% compared to the previous year. One factor that accounts for this boost is Bitcoin Taproot update. Bitcoin needed less than one month in 2021 to hit its price record in 2020. BTC price skyrocketed to 40,000 US dollars on January 7, 2021. Then, in mid-April 2021, Bitcoin hit its all-time high of $60,000. This huge increase was due to the Coinbase decision to go public on April 14, 2021. Unfortunately, throughout the summer of 2021, BTC price dropped by 50% and reached its lowest level at $29,000 on July 19, 2021. A few months later, in September 2021, BTC rebounded to $52,693, but only temporarily. Around two weeks later, there was a massive withdrawal causing the price to drop once again to $40,709. On November 7, 2021, Bitcoin reached its all-time high at $67,549. It was the highest Bitcoin price throughout 2021. Then in December, the price dropped to $49,243. When we published this article on June 9, 2022, according to CoinMarketCap, BTC to US dollars is at $30,200. $152.27. The price of Bitcoin has been in a free fall for most of the year 2022, with contagion hitting the cryptocurrency markets with larger macro concerns compared with an unstable geopolitical scenario. Even though Bitcoin has lost more than 56% of its value so far in 2018, the largest cryptocurrency on the market has experienced a significant price boost of 6% in the recent days this October. The first cryptocurrency saw a rise of more than 5 percentage points. Bitcoin's price has increased by over 9% over the last 5 days as of October 26, 2022. The most recent price surge took place at a period of increased shorting activity in crypto futures. A short squeeze takes place when a sharp increase in price forces traders who have short positions in an asset to sell their shares, causing such traders to suffer losses. Losses. When a trader shorts an asset, they are placing a wager that the price of the item will decrease over the course of time. When a trader no longer has the collateral necessary to pay their margin calls, a liquidation will take place. Why is Bitcoin going up? The total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies crossed $1 trillion on October 26. This is a level that cryptocurrency hasn't been able to attain since August. 
Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market have maintained their climb, despite the greatest liquidation of short positions for cryptocurrencies that has taken place over the course of the previous 15 months. The green prices have provided a safe haven for investors, and on October 25, Bitcoin prices broke past the psychologically significant barrier of $20,000 for the second time. However, in spite of these gains, the top cryptocurrency in the world is still trading at a loss for the year. Its current price is less than a third of its all-time high, which was reached in November 2021 and was close to $68,800. The mindset of investors swung in the opposite direction of inflation due to the notion that the Federal Open Market Committee or FOMC could start slowing down their rate hikes in the near future. During the afternoon trading session, all three of the main indexes moved higher, while bond rates and the dollar, two traditional safe havens during times of inflation, moved down. Additionally, cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin gained momentum as a result of this move, and since then, they have been trading in tandem with the larger markets for most of the year 2022. On the other hand, it looked that investor behavior had shifted once again for the wider markets by the 26th of October. On Wednesday morning, the S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite were both trading with losses of more than 0.2% and 1% respectively, while the Dow was trading with a gain of less than 0.5%. The vast majority of investors continue to be under the impression that the FOMC will hike rates the following month. According to the FedWatch tool provided by the CME Group, market analysts anticipate there will be a 91.3 likelihood of a rate rise of 75 basis points or BPS. This indicates that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies may yet to see a significant number of further price swings, ups and downs in the meantime. However, Bitcoin and volatility are intricately bound to one another. The only thing guaranteed when it comes to crypto investing is volatility, so investors should expect more of it in the next few years. Nearly one year ago, Bitcoin's price swung as high as $68,000 and now it's back down below $25,000. The volatility of Bitcoin increased from 52% in August to 64% in September, with a surge of 74% on September 17. This information is according to the September 2022 Market Recap, an outlook report published by Kraken Intelligence. On the other hand, according to the Kraken report, Ethereum's volatility started the month significantly higher at 89%. Still, it dropped to 78% by the end of the month, with its own spike of 94% on September 17, just a few days after the merge. The Ethereum merge is the platform shift from a proof-of-work network to a proof-of-stake network. Despite this, Bitcoin is still notorious for making abrupt jumps in price, even with its decreased volatility. There is no assurance that what we are seeing will continue, even if the worst that happened over the previous year won't occur again. This is due to the fact that the current financial environment remains exceedingly unpredictable, which puts investors on edge. I want to ask you, are you willing to risk with Bitcoin considering its volatility? Let me know in the comments below. In what ways may Bitcoin's recent spike benefit investors? The most important question for investors is whether this indicates that the bottom of the Bitcoin market has been reached, or whether the refuge is merely a dead cat bounce. For those who don't know, a dead cat bounce is a situation in which prices momentarily rebound amid a longer-term downward trend, only to resume the downward fall after that. Although the bounce has been a pleasant relief, the fact remains that we are currently in uncharted territory in terms of the geopolitical situation, high inflation, and the Fed's position on interest rates. Anyone who is acquainted with the industry should be fully aware that forecasting the short-term price movement of digital assets is extremely difficult, even when market conditions are favorable. This remark is especially important to remember in light of the current state of the market. We'll wrap up this video here, but here are some final thoughts. Just as you shouldn't allow a price decrease to affect your judgment to purchase cryptocurrency, you shouldn't let a quick price surge change your long-term investing plan. Even more critical, do not begin purchasing additional cryptocurrency 
just because the price is growing. Before investing any additional money in a risky asset like Bitcoin, be sure all of your financial bases are covered, from retirement funds to emergency savings. Bitcoin's most recent large spike is likewise nothing new. Investors should remain invested and not be concerned about market swings. The greatest thing you can do is ignore cryptocurrency, whether it is rising or falling. Set it and forget it, just like any other standard long-term investing account. If you allow your emotions to get the best of you, you can sell at the wrong moment or make the incorrect judgment. Another reminder, this channel's content is given as is and only for informative purposes. Nothing in this video should be interpreted as investment advice, a recommendation, or an offer to purchase, hold, or sell stocks or financial products. The channel makes no promises and expresses no judgment on the appropriateness or suitability of investing. Thank you so much for watching. Leave us a comment if you enjoyed or learned something from this video. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on finances and crypto like this one. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.